Hi folks, big news today because it's official that Leica will release a camera that will directly compete against the Fuji X106. So it will be a very intriguing model and we know what it will be because it has been officially registered in China. And today I want to talk about this camera, but before that, the usual reminder to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button to not miss any of the upcoming rumors. As you know folks, fixed lens camera are the big thing of this year, uh, Leica is selling a lot of their full frame Q3 cameras, Ricoh is stopping accepting pre-orders on the GR cameras because they are selling too many of them and they can't keep up with production and fulfillment of the pre-orders they already have and as you know of course Fuji sold a ton of X106 cameras and if you were unlucky to pre-order the camera just one two days after the announcement you are going to wait six, seven, eight months before you get it. And well, Fuji will no more be uh, without a direct competition because Leica will soon announce a new fixed lens camera that is likely to use a new APS-C sensor. And why do we know that? Because yesterday Leica registered a new camera in China. On this image you can see the official registration from Leica. It shows that the camera code is type 3952A. And why do I know that this is a Deluxe camera? Because the original Deluxe 7 that was announced in 2018 had the code type 3952. So this is definitely the successor of the Deluxe 7 that was announced six years ago and usually when Leica does register a new camera it takes about one two three months max before the camera gets announced so we can expect this camera to be available for pre-order uh, May, June, max July and this is going to be um, very exciting news so you can now choose between the Fuji X106 or this camera and the question is how this camera will be. First of all let me talk about the day look 7 that was announced six years ago what this camera is about. This camera was co-developed by Leica and Panasonic. Panasonic released their own version named LX102 and it had a 70 megapixel 4 thirds sensor. The lens on the Leica Deluxe 7 was a 24 to 75, 1.7, 2.7 lens. But I do believe the new Deluxe that will be announced in the next couple of months will have two major differences. It will use, in my opinion, a new APC sensor. There's no more reason for Leica to use a 4 thirds sensor. Now they are really focused on the APC and the full frame market. So I'm nearly certain this is going to have an APC sensor. And the second change that I expect is that it won't have a zoom lens, but a prime lens instead, because that's what really people are asking right now. They don't want the compact cameras with a crazy zoom range or whatever. They want the compact camera with a bright, fast, Prime lens, as you know, the Leica Q3, the full frame camera uses a 28 millimeter 1.7. Could be that the Deluxe will use a 18 millimeter APS-C lens, which is equivalent to 28 millimeter in full frame. So that's my best guess. The body design will not change by much. It will be improved, but it will still be very minimalistic and very close to the Leica Q3. The Deluxe 7 that was announced six years ago was priced at around $1,200. I expect the new Deluxe to be priced uh, well above that. So I think above $1,500, closer to $2,000 and be a sort of mini Leica Q3, uh, Leica Q3 that people can afford, let's say like this, and it will obviously compete against the Fuji X106, but without having features of the Fuji, like the hybrid viewfinder, the film styles and so forth. I hope to get some rumors about the new Deluxe camera within the next couple of weeks so that I can share the real specs of this camera and then compare it with the Fuji X106. And before I leave you and end this video, a teaser because yesterday, I got an information about another fixed lens camera coming from another manufacturer with a big name, but I'm not going to share it today. I will make a separate video. So this is just to tell you that many companies are aware that the compact camera market with high quality fixed prime lenses is booming. And this is something particularly younger generation wants and they're very, those cameras are very hyped on social networks. 
uh, it's not only because of the X106, we know that the X105 and other cameras like the Leica Q3 were already selling very well also two years ago, one year ago. So um, the companies uh, are well aware of that trend and some are ready to announce the cameras. The first one will be Leica, but there is another one that will be quite a, a stunning compact camera. So that's why you absolutely have to like this video, first of all, to help in the YouTube algorithm, but more importantly, subscribe to the channel, because I promise you to be the first to share some exciting rumors about uh, the next compact cameras that are coming soon. See you soon, folks.